Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, how to implement uh, the tri data structure in uh, Python. So, some uh, background information. A tri is an associative array. Uh, so, it's basically a data structure that associates uh, keys with uh, values. Um, and uh, the keys are uh, the string, uh, uh, strings. So, that has uh, string keys. Uh, so, the term uh, tri comes uh, from uh, the word retrieval. That's a syllable in the word retrieval, and the term was coined by uh, Edward Fredkin, uh, the inventor of the uh, triad data structure. Uh, you can uh, refer uh, to this uh, excellent uh, Wikipedia article for more history and uh, various applications of uh, uh, tries and wikipedia.org wiki uh, try for more information on uh, uh, tries. There are two ways uh, to uh, pronounce uh, pronounce it. Uh, so it can be uh, in computer science uh, can be pronounced as a tree, which is actually uh, if you follow the etymology of retrieval, then you should pronounce it, uh, it as tree. I pronounce it as try to keep it distinct from trees. So uh, let's suppose that um, this is an example from uh, that Wikipedia article that you can uh, read um, about uh, and analyze. So let's suppose that we have uh, several uh, string keys, A, uh, 2, T, uh, Ted, mm, 10, I, and um, N, and in with double n. So we start with the empty tree, and then uh, we insert um, a t into it, right? Um, so we insert the first key, let's say t o. Uh, reach the uh, t node, then we insert o, and uh, we get uh, t o. And then associated uh, with that node, we can have a bucket, right? The bucket is basically a data storage where we can say uh, store an arbitrary uh, piece of information, such as seven in this case. That's just a, maybe a frequency of that key. Then T E. Mm, then we insert A, and uh, this is uh, T E A. And then let's associate the bucket with it and put uh, 3 into it. So mm, the principle uh, is the same as in binary search trees and uh, uh, hash tables or dictionaries in, uh, term if uh, uh, we are uh, in the context of uh, Python. Uh, but uh, um, uh, the difference uh, between, let's say, the tree uh, tries and uh, uh, dictionaries uh, is that um, uh, uh, tries take uh, a lot less space uh, than uh, uh, hash tables, and uh, they don't have to uh, handle uh, key collisions. And um, uh, binary search trees uh, uh, are also um, well. That w one of the advantages of uh, tries versus uh, over over binary search trees is that uh, the retrieval, uh, the lookup, key lookup, uh, is um, uh, more efficient. Um, so we're just keep building this uh, 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 try, um, right in, and then let's associate the bucket, 5, and um, another n, uh, and this will be in, and uh, the bucket associated with the n key will contain 9. Oh, perhaps we have a corpus. Okay, these are the functions that we will have to implement. Insert key, has key, retrieve val, and start with prefix. And uh, let's um, describe uh, what those functions um, will have to do. Um, so insert key uh, takes the key value and the try, and uh, it inserts the key uh, into uh, into the try and uh, puts uh, the value into the tries uh, uh, into the keys bucket. Uh, then the second function has key is obvious. Uh, oh, it's um, checks. If a specific key exists uh, in a try, and if it does, then it returns true. If it doesn't, it returns uh, false. So 
So and then uh, retrieve val uh, key uh, try uh, takes a key and retrieves uh, the bucket's value, um, well, the, the value from the key's bucket. And uh, finally, uh, start with uh, a prefix. Well, that's one of the typical uses of try uh, uh, tries in text processing. We are given a prefix and a try, and we want to find all of the strings, all of the keys in the try that start with um, the given prefix. And prefix is just a sequence of characters, uh, right? A non-empty sequence of characters has at least one character. Okay, so um, let's consider an example of retrieve val. And so let's say we have a, a key 2, and we want to retrieve the value associated with that key. Start with the top node, uh, go on t, uh, then go on uh, 2, um, and then uh, check if there is a bucket here, and there is a bucket, and we return 7, the value of that bucket. Uh, let's give another example. Mm. Let's say take uh, in. in. So top node, go on um, i, right, branch on i, uh, branch from i, branch on n, uh, check if there is a bucket, um, and uh, okay, retrieve the value in that bucket. Okay. Start with the prefix. Um, okay, let's say that we are given uh, the prefix um, t. Okay, let's, let's take t. So we want to find all of the uh, strings in the try that begin with T. Let me grab a different color. So we've reached from the uh, top node, we've reached this node, and then we get all of the buckets, right, under that, uh, in the subtree rooted at T, right, 2, 10, Ted, um, and T. 2, T, Ted, and 10. 2, uh, T, Head and uh, ten. Okay. Um, so let's um, explore conceptually how insert key works. So we we'll begin with the empty tree, um, and uh, the trees uh, you should you 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 can use two uh, Python data structures to implement a tree: a list and a tuple. You don't need anything else. You don't need any object-oriented uh, 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 programming. Uh, so, um, okay, we go from the empty tree. Uh, t, um, the T branch is not found, and then uh, so we insert it. Then uh, after the T branch, the O branch is not found, so we insert it. Uh, we get to the two, and then we insert a bucket, um, which can be just a singleton, a singleton list, then we can uh, put the value seven into that uh, uh, bucket. So well, let's say that we want to insert uh, t uh, and 3 key value pair. So we have t, reach this node, then um, e is absent, there's no uh, child branch labeled with e, so we insert it, and then so we get to te, and then uh, there's no branch labeled a, uh, so we insert it, and we get uh, TEA. All right, so um, let's talk a little bit about uh, Python implementation. As I said, uh, you should use uh, only two Python data structures, um, uh, lists and tuples, to implement, uh, to implement the trees. Uh, so this is the empty tree. And um, mm, let's say uh, this is just an example of what you should have. Uh, after you implement everything. So insert key uh, 2, 7 into the tree, insert key uh, t with the value of 3 into the uh, try, right? I'm not being consistent, confusing trees with tries. Well, tri the tries are trees. Um, okay, just not binary trees. And then insert key um, 10 with the value of 12 into the try, insert uh, key A with a value of 15 into the try. This is basically the Wikipedia example 
uh, the sample tree from uh, the Wikipedia article. And then insert um, an in, value of 5 into the try, insert um, key uh, in and uh, into the try. And we can check his key uh, 2. Uh, oops, uh, okay. Try true, has key uh, tramp, mm, tramp um, returns false as expected. Mm, uh, then retrieve uh, uh, key um, uh, uh, two um, a ted try. Oops, it should be retrieve uh, retrieve val uh, retrieve value of a given key. Um, ted okay, so four. Mm, so so far so good. And uh, we can also uh, test um, uh, implementation of start with prefix. So give uh, all the strings, the list of strings from this try that begin with um, uh, T. Okay, yep. So this is good. 2, T, Ted, and uh, 10. All right, let's get back to um, uh, our poem uh, called The Tent that we used in the previous assignment um, uh, by Huffman encoding. Huffman trees, uh, rather. Um, so, um, uh, so we can define a function normalize text. Uh, it just identifies a uh, procedure of text normalization, removes the punctuation, uh, spaces, splits the mm, text into a list of uh, words. And uh, well, then we can uh, um, let me uh, define a, uh, a tree. Uh, let's call it. Tent, uh, tent try, uh, tent try, an empty try, and um, we will mm, iterate uh, through the normalize uh, um, text of the tent uh, after we split it by space into a list of words, and then we will treat each uh, word uh, as the key, and we'll just uh, the value will be true. So and we insert it into the uh, tent try. Okay. Um, so now the try is built, and we can check, uh, test our uh, start with prefix uh, b. Right. Find me all of the words uh, in the tent try that begin with b. Okay. So these are all the words. So let's uh, do it one more time with uh, ba. Um, okay. Happy hacking.